Ready? Go. Let the ball go, and then just have uh, the uh, finished position. Let the ball go. I will, I will uh, get the ball, okay? Okay, ready, go. Go. So let's see what you're doing. So first, uh, this is the front of you. As you can see, you have no weight shift. Mm -hmm. Basically, you have the, uh, the uh, cent uh, pressure center right uh, in the middle of your stance. So you're not moving your lower body at all. And everything is coming from your upper body. Mm -hmm. And also, essentially, what you do is um, just uh, fold the arm and club here and then hit the ball here. So on the way down, your upper body and the lower body all moving together at once. And because there's no way shift, it's hard to find the right timing. So just you're using your, your muscles to try to hit the ball. Wow. And also, if we look at the down the line view, so you, have, you don't have enough time up here. So you have a quick transition from back swing to down swing. Mm -hmm. You see at the top how much your club moves. So just go up and then try to swing down. Mm -hmm. So that's why it gives you a lot of inconsistency depending on what you do here. Mm -hmm. So if you have always a consistent uh, top position and then start down swing from there, it will be less uh, inconsistent. But what happens is you just uh, go here. Yeah. And then uh, earlier, I've seen four or five different swings. Every time you swing, the swing is different. Yeah. Yeah. So what we need to do today is uh, first, uh, you, you should uh, start shifting your weight, particularly in the downswing to the left side. Mm -hmm. So you need to uh, learn how to use your lower body. Mm -hmm. The big muscles do not help in golf, right. okay, unless you have a good movement pattern. Mm -hmm. So those uh, two players, they're big muscles, but because their movement patterns are good, so they, they can actually take advantage of it. But in your case, just to try to hit the ball hard with your muscles, but that doesn't work. Right. Okay? So you have to uh, basically reprogram your swing pattern. More than anything, first you need to uh, learn how to uh, do the weight shift. And then, and then, so the motion should start from the lower body action. Then you add your arms, but even you're not using your uh, mobility in the upper body that way, because what happens is, you bring it back here and try to hit the ball like this. So we have a lot of mobility allowed it at the shoulders and then also uh, at the wrist. But you are not really using those that way. Mm -hmm. So let's start with uh, the kettlebell swing and then try to engage your lower body more. Okay. Have you used the kettlebell before? Um, not really, but yeah. So this is 10 pound. If you don't have one home, buy one with the large handle okay. is easier to use. So hold the kettlebell with the palms forward mm -hmm. and then keep your arms straight. And then the upper, upper arm uh, touches the uh, chest here. So initially lock here, the shoulder joint. And then you can, so you can turn everything, swing everything with the lower body action only. Do not use your upper body or the arms. Keep it completely locked here and the swing back and forth using the lower body. So you have to use your legs and you have to uh, turn the pelvis mm -hmm. to move everything around. Mm -hmm. okay? So let's see. So no need to swing hard. Mm -hmm. Initially, maybe within uh, this range here. Okay. Try to feel the rhythm, swing. Now here, your upper body and lower body are all moving together. It's one unit. So essentially, you are swinging with the upper body. So let's do this. Relax here. Mm -hmm. Swing, 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 swing. So push left leg, push right leg, 
push left leg, right leg, left, right, swing, 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 swing. So do not use your arms, but use your lower body. Swing, 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 swing. And then keep a good wind up and throw. Swing. So this, this is uh, how you do a kettlebell swing. Again, try to keep your upper body kind of locked. Use your lower body to swing everything. Swing, swing. No, still uh, you need to push the, you need to move the left hip up when you swing this way. Yeah, so that means you have to push and then no, no, push the ground and then extend the knee, then move the hip up. Mm -hmm. You really have to push, 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 push. Use the pelvis more, pelvis actively. That means you use your legs actively. Swing, swing, swing. Now let's try to uh, shift the pelvis. Mm -hmm. Shift the pelvis uh, laterally more with that. Just, yeah, just the swing it back and forth that you will find the natural flow. The trust to your instinct. Yeah, shift the, shift the, the pelvis away and toward more actively. Keep going, yeah, that's good, keep going. Hmm. Yes, swing, and then try to find the rhythm here. So a little bit of up and down motion. And try to make it rhythmic instead of just swinging. Swing, 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 swing. That's better, yeah. And then give a good wind up and throw. Yes. So now you're engaging your lower body more. Um, and then, so this time, let's increase the magnitude mm -hmm. so to uh, this horizontal position here. So from here to here. Okay. For that, you have to use your arms right. reasonably. However, it should be first initiated by the lower body and then add your arm action. So let's try. Go ahead. No, still is the upper body driven. Yeah. So you are only just lifting the heel here, but right. everything is coming from this one here. Try to try to keep it here, and then try to use your lower body to swing, swing. Again, okay, more. Relax here, relax. Just uh, just to keep it straight, but relax. Mm -hmm. And then swing using the lower body. Swing using the legs actively. Push the push the ground with the leg. Push, kick, kick it up, kick, kick the. So when you go this way, push here so that your right hip goes up. And then when you swing this way, push with the left leg. So the left hip goes up and then turn. So the push action has, has to create this turn action. So when I'm here, I'm pushing on this way. And then when I'm back here, I'm pushing. No, no, it's you are going together. Before you go there, push the right side. Push the right side with that turn. Left side, turn, turn. Relax, re relax your arm, relax your arm. Try to keep it uh, as straight as possible. Do not flex your elbow too much and then try to keep it straight. And then so easy, and then use the lower body, use the lower body. And then also at the top here, do not try to hold it tight, but let the gravity, uh, you know, take over. Okay. So the down, down swing motion should be started uh, by the gravity and then you will add your effort instead of try to hold it, try to do this. So re relax your upper body as much as possible. 
It has to come from your lower body. Oh, better, yes. You kick the ground, you kick the ground, push the ground, push the ground, push. Swing, swing, relax upper body. Swing, swing, swing everything with your leg action. Swing everything with your leg action. Do you feel you are engaging your lower body more? Mm -hmm. Is it coming from your lower body or from coming from your upper body? You know, I'm just used to, uh, I, you know, how my swing is, you know, I'm all upper body. So I just have to get the feeling. Yeah. Of so you have to, you have to reprogram yeah. your movement pattern. Particularly, it's okay to use your upper body, your arms, no problem. When you have strong arms, you know, it's okay to use those. However, the motion should start by the lower body and then add your upper body. Right now, you just have a wide stance here and then you don't shift at all and then just bring it and then try to hit the ball like this. Right. So everything is moving together, but now you're separating the lower body, a shift and upper body so, turn. That's so okay. motion, I'm coming up. At this point, I'm putting pressure here. No, 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 actually, actually here. Go, go here. From here, mm -hmm. you have to shift the left, left first, uh -oh. and then swing around your left back. hip. Yeah, and then swing around. Yes, yes. That's why I'm, I'm asking you to uh, s sort of uh, move your pelvis laterally. Pelvis first, shift the first, and then turn around the right hip, and then left, shift the left, and then turn around the left hip, right, left. So move your pelvis more laterally. Free, free your pelvis, okay? Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Go and then lean this way. When this is going this way, lean this way. What? This way and then come back and then turn and then lean this way. Come back. And then bring it back, and then lean this way, and then bring it back. Use lateral motion, and then start try to swing. Do not use your arms. No, you're using your arms. Right. Relax. Just to keep it straight. Mm -hmm. We're not moving that much, just the horizontal to horizontal. Okay. So you can do this without flexing your, mm -hmm. see here. You can do this without flexing your elbow much. Mm -hmm. So let it swing mm -hmm. this way. Do not try to bring in here. Okay. Just uh, let it go. Let it go here. Mm -hmm. So use the momentum of the kettlebell, and the swing back and forth, but you have to engage your lower body. Okay. No, 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 no. Do not bring it up and then try to, try to bring it down. The gravity will do it, so you just uh, let it go. Okay. Lock the arms here, keep it straight. Okay, just to go here, swing, swing, using your lower body. Low body. Do not use your arms. Mm -hmm. so use your lower body more actively. So the whole thing should come from your lower body action. Keep your stance a bit narrower. Keep your stance a bit narrow. Current, current your stance is too wide. Yeah, okay. that's good, that's good. With that, Again, swing back and swing back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So use the body to uh, swing the kettlebell. Relax your arms. Relax your arms. Yes. You can. Uh, people will call it sway, but it's okay. Right. Sway. Just to try to bring everything with your lower body. But the only thing you know to maintain the dynamic balance. When the arms and kettlebell goes this way, mm -hmm. then you have to lean this way, so maintain good balance. And this will also help you to uh, shift it this way and then swing. So when you swing back and forth, tr try not to uh, sway this way, but you can move the pelvis a lot, but keep the upper body going in the opposite direction, lean in the opposite direction so that maintain the balance while you are uh, swinging back and forth.
and that keep everything smooth, continuous. Do not fight anything, just smooth. Let it go, let it go. Yeah, step on the right side, step on the left side, step on the right side, left side, right side, left side, right side, left, and the right, left, and right. Okay. 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 This uh, is what I need. I need a 10 pound, right? And this I should be doing. You, you can make it a bit heavier in your case. Yeah. But when it's heavier, then you have to use your body more. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but um, yeah, catch your, uh, catch your breath. And then. Uh, the caliber swing is really good in, in uh, engaging your lower body. Right. But the thing is that uh, you should be, uh, you should relax your, your arms. Right, right. If you keep swinging with your arms here, everything is going with the arm and then your lower body just uh, follows. But you really lead everything by using your lower body. Okay. Again. Do it. So relax, relax your arms as much as possible. Yep. Mm hmm Yep, so motion is getting better. Yep. You start engaging your lower body. But here, the lower body is moving first. So a lower body goes this way and then swing. Right. So always try to, uh, in order to swing right, then first the shift this way, and then try to turn around the right hip. Okay. Because your right leg is bearing more weight in this case. It's easier to turn around the right hip, then the left hip, hip will uh, move easily here. Okay. And then you know to swing left, instead of starting from here, go this, go here, put more weight on the left side, and then try to turn around the left hip. So that's the key in uh, weight shifting. I understand what you're saying, but doing it? No, don't, don't, don't hurry. Uh, just, uh, if you just relax and the swing through and then repeat this, then you will automatically find the moon pattern. Now, on, on the way here, try to keep it close, so let it go this way. Or in front of your body. Okay. Go here, in front of your body, yeah. Okay. Swing this way instead of bring it back, okay? Yep, swing through, swing through. Keep, generally keep uh, the arms straight in this one. Mm -hmm. Try to swing using your lower body more. Yes. Okay, relax. So in your case, you're bringing back here and try to hit the ball. So you tend to bring it backward here. Yeah. When this happens, all you can do is just try to hit the ball yeah. this way. But when you go, go it uh, up here, you can use this motion here. Just to bring it down, let it go. Right. But if you go here, you have to hit the ball like this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. well, this time, hold it uh, like a, you know, as if uh, you, you're holding a golf club. Like yeah, yeah, that way, and then swing. And now, we'll add the arm motion toward the end, okay? Yeah. So arm, arm motion toward the end. So initiate the motion with the body, and then add your arm motion here. Mm -hmm. You can go a bit higher, but do not bring it up here. Then it will drop like this. Mm -hmm. So try to keep it more away from your body. Up here, and then swing and up, and swing and up. You can add your arm motion, but if you don't use your lower body, then you will feel unstable because body is shaking. Mm -hmm. But if you use your lower body actively, then you can control the whole thing. It doesn't have to be really fast. So just uh, work with the kettlebell. Yeah, stretch your arms out. Yes, swing, swing, and swing. Now, so what we'll do is uh, we'll swing three times. One, two, Three and a good wind up and the boom. Okay. So one, two, three, and let it go. Yes. So already you start using your low body. Right. It's not something really difficult. It's just that you're not accustomed to uh, right. 
low uh, yeah, three yeah, right. So initially, those three, you can go a bit lower. Mm -hmm. You don't have to swing really hard, but so here. One, two, three, and let it go. But here, when you go up, do not flex your arm too much. Okay. When that happens, it goes backward and also it goes high up here. But instead, try to reach out more. Mm -hmm. But in order to maintain this balance, you have to keep your upper body more leaning this way. Okay? Okay. Again, first the three, you can go a bit easier. One, two, three, and boom. Right. Yeah. So again, uh, again, go a bit uh, easier with the, the initial three. You don't have to swing that hard. And then one thing really important is that you have to work with the kettlebell. Don't try to dominate this. So in other words, when it goes up here, then wait until this motion is done, and then come down and add your effort there. When this is up here, wait until this slows down. And then when it starts coming down, then you add your effort. So you ha we have to always know how to work with the apparatus you are dealing with. So this time, okay. you have to work with the kettlebell, okay? So basically, it's up and then with gravity come down, mm. Yeah, so if you don't rush, right. you wait until this is done, your body will be able to prepare for the next right. one instead of using the arm early. Okay. So again, easy swing three times. Easy swing one, two, three, and let it go, yes. Mm -hmm. So now you start working with the kettlebell. Right. Then uh, let's make again uh, more swings back and forth. Okay, keep swinging. Sw swing right? Yeah, back and forth, but try to, yeah. Try to work with the kettlebell. Do not try to dominate the kettlebell, but you have to, uh, as if you have a baby in your hands, okay? And you have to work with the kettlebell, okay? And then you have to come up with a stable, uh, you have to control the body motion well so that you have a dynamic balance during this motion. If your body is shaking a lot, that means you're not really working with the kettlebell. Right. So, let it go, let it go, let it go. But it's complete, uh, complete under your control. So you can maintain this uh, uh, dynamic balance, okay? Again, do not try to dominate it, but work with the kettlebell. Feel the, feel the weight of the kettlebell. Mm. And then grab it and go around this way. So if you just wait until this is done here, mm -hmm. your upper body is shifting this way, so it's shaking. When it goes this way, then you have to keep the upper body backward, Back. maintain the dynamic balance, and then start the downswing with the weight on the right side. And then when it goes this way, then you lean backward so that maintain the dynamic balance. So really work with the kettlebell, and then you need to maintain good dynamic balance. Okay, make it really comfortable when you swing back and forth. Exactly. Yes, exactly. That way, when you actively use your legs, still you have good control, you will be able to maintain the dynamic balance. Yes. Yes. So you don't have to uh, bring it really high up, but you just work with the caliber. Yes, I can see that now you are better working with the caliber. And then give a good wind up and throw. So this is how it works. So whatever you work with, it could be a kettlebell, could it be the rope, or a club, or a medicine ball, or whatever that is. When you work with those, you have to really feel the motion of the apparatus, right. and then you have to really work with them instead of try to dominate them. Right. Okay. They have different weights, right, and then different moments of inertia. But when you when you swing them, you have to adjust your body motion, and then you have to really work with them. Particularly is true uh, with the rope. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let's do it, do it once more, and then uh, we'll uh, finish this uh, kettlebell swing. So the whole idea in the kettlebell swing is to engage your lower body, okay. and to not rush. So you, so, you know, you don't rush down. Okay. Really work with the kettlebell, mm -hmm. and then keep the arms relatively relaxed. Of course, you have to use uh, the arms a, a lot, 
in, a, in order to uh, swing fast, but the whole motion should come from the lower body first. Swing, 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 yes, swing, and then one, two, three, and go. So this is how it works. So particularly remember where your hands were mm -hmm. in the last uh, wind up here. Not here, Not there. but here. It's important to keep your hands here. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I will record this. So, so again. Three and then let go. Yeah. So ready, go. One, two, three, and swing. Yep. Still, to me, uh, it looks uh, you are a bit cautious, but uh, you know when you repeat this caliber swing again and again, you can relax upper body more. Right. You can engage the lower body more. So let me record it from this direction. So ready, go. One, two, three, and swing. Yes. And remember the hand position at, uh, the, the, in the last one. Okay. One, two, three, and swing. Yes. Still, it looks a bit cautious, but um, but that's okay. But in general, this motion is a lot better than. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in this one, no shift at all, and then just to try to hit the ball. Mm -hmm. So it's important for you to. Uh, recognize your movement pattern mm -hmm. and then see which one is uh, better and why. Mm -hmm. So this is your uh, initial swing here. You see no, everything. No turn. Yep. Yeah. No turn. Everything's coming from the arm, right? Mm -hmm. Now when you look at the caliber swing, you start using your lower body. So this is a huge difference. Now, Mm -hmm. The next is um, the rope swing. So swing the rope. Oh, before we go there, let's uh, let's practice then uh, this medicine ball throw. Okay. So we we'll maintain the same thing. You will swing three times, right. and then finally throw. But when you throw, it shouldn't be up or down, but it should be more leveled. Okay, right. throw in this direction. This so, yeah. This way. So, so, one, so one, two, no, two, and then three, and, then three and throw. So exactly the same two as the kettlebell swing. So again, I will give you the count. Go ahead. One, two, three, and throw. And then. Before you throw, try not to watch this way. So you have to throw the ball using this motion here mm -hmm. instead of turn around and then try to throw. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I know you're cautious, but uh, yeah, these cameras are quite expensive. Yeah. However, you have to throw the ball using the downswing motion from okay. up there. Okay. Again. One. Two. Three and throw. Yes. And then in throwing, uh, use your shoulder turn. It's not arm motion, but the, first you use your shoulder turn and the throw. Uh, use add your arm motion. One. Okay. One. Two. Three and throw. Yeah, use, use your now shoulder more. As you swing back and forth, try to turn your shoulders more. Okay. When you turn your shoulder more, then you don't have to flex your arm. Okay. So, t 
turn your sh shoulders more actively. Okay. One, two, three, and throw. So when the turn, when the throw is coming from your shoulder turn, mm -hmm. it's a bit easier because you don't have to uh, use your arms a lot. Right. So first uh, generate the speed with the shoulders and then add your arm motion. Mm -hmm. So now try to make everything continuous, okay? No hesitation, make it continuous, smooth as much as possible when you are swing back and forth. One, two, three, and throw, yes. And also, when you swing back and forth, try to feel a little bit of up and down, yeah. up and down feel. So when you do this, a little bit of up and down feel here. Mm -hmm. That way you will be able to engage your lower body a lot better. So the vertical rhythm is really important. One, two, three, and throw. Whoa, ho, 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 Paul, you are now a completely different person. By adding a little bit of up and down motion, right. everything looks a lot better. Right. So again, this time I will record. Yeah, keep a little bit of up and down feel, okay? That's really important in developing a rhythm. So just a second. Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, and throw. One, two, three, and throw. Okay, so I will record it uh, from here. Yeah, you'll like it. So give uh, this up and down feel, the vertical rhythm. Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, and throw. That's, uh, that's, that's okay, leave it there. You see this up and down feel here. Now you are pushing the ground. Your, your knees uh, extending and then throw. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. As soon as you started uh, using the up and down motion, the motion looks a lot better. The flow is a lot better. And throw. Mm. Mm. You see? Now <laughs> you're dancing. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna have that little body too. Yeah, so when I videotape myself, you know, golf swings, I'm like, oh. So, so don't I see it, I just can't. Don't lock your low body. Mm -hmm. But you have to really give a little bit of uh, up and down feel. This will give you good overall rhythm. When you develop good vertical rhythm, then it just, uh, you know, gives a good horizontal rhythm as well. Mm -hmm. But without the vertical rhythm, you just, just uh, try to sway. Right. Then that doesn't work. But when you have a good up and down feel, then you can move the body early, and then the, the turn follows. So this is called the shun rhythm, shift turn rhythm. So shift first and then turn, shift first and turn, shift turn, shift turn, shift turn. And that this shift turn rhythm is easier when you have a good vertical rhythm. So let's do the kettlebell again, okay. and then feel the up and down motion. Uh, uh, the regular uh, golf, golf like, uh, you know, I don't know, the golf like hold, yeah. And then when you swing back and forth, add that uh, vertical motion feel, okay? Okay. Swing, 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 swing. Swing, 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 and go. Yeah.
it's just the turning, mm -hmm. the previous kettlebell swing here, mm -hmm. and you are really cautious. But now, with this one, because the up and down field, you are push, you are uh, straightening your leg more. Mm -hmm. the everything is coming from this push, push, push. Right. Yeah, so this is really important. So the back, the back swing is this. Yes. And then I'm shifting and, and then turning push around this leg. Yes. Now we can talk about these things. Right. <laughs> Initially, it was impossible right. for you. So always, the pushing part is important because uh, when you have good vertical feel here, by pushing, the hip goes up. With that, your body turns, and then to at the end of this push, you will be able to move this way already. So this motion is not intentional motion here, but rather, after good push, you have uh, this lateral motion. After good push, you have this lateral motion. So push is important. Mm -hmm. But by having this vertical motion feel, you have everything automatically. Okay. So push and come here. So push and come this way. Mm -hmm. Push and come this way. Okay. So it's uh, really important to have this vertical feel. Right. So from now on, maintain that uh, vertical motion feel. Right. Okay? Now let's try to swing the rope. So give a, a slight initial swing this way and then bring it back. Swing. Swing. So I want to do that same thing up and down. Yeah, similar feel, similar feel. Yeah. Now try not to remember the kettlebell swing. You try to keep the arms a bit straighter, right? Try not to flex your arms too much. So you know, you know to do that, then you have to turn your shoulders a bit more, mm -hmm. and then keep the arm uh, in front of your body, and then let it go. Okay, okay. do not bring not like this that. way too much, because you tend to use your arms a lot. So use your more than anything, use your lower body first. Uh, you lost the that vertical feel, vertical motion. And uh, during the back swing, it's okay to turn your face this way, mm -hmm. but just uh, maintain your preferred vision mm -hmm. on the ball. Mm -hmm. So uh, gaze the ball on your left shoulder, mm -hmm. so going this way here. So let the shoulders turn. When you try to maintain direct gaze, then it will limit the shoulder turn. Again, you are just uh, shifting sideways, but you lost that the vertical field. So I'll record this and then show you what you're doing. Okay, okay. keep keep going, keep going. Okay, that's enough. So if you look at what you're doing, everything going together this way, and then everything is going this this way together. So you you lost the rhythm you developed with the kettlebell. Mm -hmm. So you're leaning this way, leaning this way, leaning this way, leaning this way. Instead, remember. Shift the first, and then as you swing, swing, and then leaning opposite way. Feel the kettlebell motion, and then try to come up with a similar rope swing. Here. You have to have a good push. But don't just try to turn your body a lot. Remember, when we use the kettlebell, so shift first, and then turn like this. The same thing. So here. Shift and then turn as you swing, your upper body has to lean in the opposite direction instead of going here. Mm -hmm. okay. Really swing the rope around. Keep it a bit longer. It's too short. All the way. And then also swing, swing the rope faster. Now, yes, as you, as you swing it faster, now it's uh, very different. 
Feel the vertical rhythm. Feel the vertical rhythm. Mm -hmm. Feel up and down, up, 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 up. So push the ground hard with the, your leg. Up, 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 up. Okay. So this was the previous one. It's simply just a turn, the turn, turned. Now we started uh, pushing the ground, so you have a uh, better mm -hmm. vertical motion here. So you, you have a, li a, a little bit of a recentering motion. So you go out, and then this coming back is called the recentering. So you have initial shift followed by recentering. Okay. You start uh, showing a little bit of a recentering here. So again. Nah, okay. So, so what I'm trying to do is, when I'm up here, I'm trying to go back like this. Yes, but now the thing is, when you swing the rope, see whether you're using the whole body to bring the rope down or you're using just the arms. Mm -hmm. It is, again, important to uh, work with uh, the apparatus we are dealing with. Mm -hmm. So earlier we had the uh, kettlebell and the uh, medicine ball. Mm -hmm. but now it's a rope. The characteristics are different. It's uh, flexible. Right. You cannot use your wrist, right? So now you have to work with the rope. Mm -hmm. So feel the motion of the rope. Feel the motion of the rope. And then the, whole, uh, the purpose the purpose of uh, this rope swing is first to is establish a good uh, swing plane. Okay. So you need to uh, establish a consistent plane for the back and forth swing. Mm -hmm. And also you have to uh, find a good timing to start the downswing. So no rush, okay? Okay. have a good, uh, in, uh, good amount of time up there. Although that doesn't mean a, a pause. So motion should be continuous, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Try to feel, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, now you, I see uh, you are working with the rope a lot better. Yes. Mm-hmm. Work with the rope. Feel the motion of the rope. Work with the rope. And then establish a consistent swing plane. Consistent swing plane. Swing back and forth. Back and forth, swing back and forth. Try to keep the hands more away from your body instead of uh, tugging it backward. All right. So now your rhythm is a lot better and then you are now working better with the rope. Mm -hmm. This is a, a good improvement here. You can see the, the rhythm here. Here, still the first one, turn, always coming from the arm motion here. So it's a fairly arm-driven mm -hmm. swing here. However, the last one, now the whole body is working better. Mm -hmm. Whole body is working better. Now, what we need to do is, uh, remember when we had the kettlebell, I told you that the wait until this goes up and then start the down motion. The same thing, rope swing. As you go up here, instead of rushing down, wait until the rope settles here, and then start the down. So give a little bit more time, so mature right. the turn motion before you uh, start the downward turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, now what I see is that all the way down, mm -hmm. you use your body a bit more and then turn. Right. So when you have more time, go up here and then use your body and then let it go. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, again. 
So you start using your body. This is a huge uh, leap forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they make it continuous, but have a mature backswing, and then let it go. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So let's see. So now, before you start the downswing, see how your body moves. Your body is uh, first moving, and then the arms are following. Right, yep. Yeah. So, initial one, you just try to go here, here, right. here. But now, you start moving the body first, and then try to swing. So that means that you have a better way shift. Mm. So always, uh, before you uh, turn, you must have to shift first. So go up here and shift first and then swing. Shift. Then you will be able to turn around the left side, left you, hip. So you're shifting back and forth. And the same thing, shift yeah. here, turn, and the shift and then turn. So use your body more. Again, yeah, the rope swing is helping you quite. Is the feeling that when I come up and I shift, am I shifting like Yes, that? yes. So yes. shift and then when I'm back here, Right, so I'm here, those, yeah. those, those, those are shifts mm -hmm. are coming from the preceding push and then shift. Gotcha. So go shift first and then as you turn, you will push and then with that you will have the shift. So you push in the ground. You push in the mm -hmm. So the, the shift is not intentional shift mm -hmm. to that direction, but rather it's coming from the previous push using right. the opposite side. Right. So push and then coming this way, and then when you swing and push and coming this way, mm -hmm. and then push and coming this way. Mm -hmm. So that uh, recentering should be done right. as part of the previous turn. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. The rope swing is a lot better now. Let me watch uh, from this direction. So again, work with the rope. Okay. All right, now I'll watch this. Right. So I'm feeling it up and then push and yeah. then I'm shifting and right. Watch this, uh, how consistent your swing plane is back and forth. All right. This is really good. If you can uh, use the club this way. I win some money. Yeah, this that's it. <laughs> oh, do you play for many f with your friends? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is a secret. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So now your rhythm uh, improved quite a bit. This this is good, uh, you know, improvement. And then let's start uh, using the club. First, the feel feel the uh, you know what you just did. Just simply swinging back and forth easily. No, no need to swing hard. So, e so easy swing back and forth. Yeah, what you just did. And then try to move the hands more away from your body. Yeah, and then give a, is the give more wrist cock at the end. Mm. Yeah, so mobilize, mobilize your wrist a bit more. Okay. When you go this way, it's hard to generate the uh, wrist cock. When the wrist goes this way, it's hard. Right. You have to go more neutral like this. 
but that's okay. Just um, just uh, relax the wrist a, a bit. The, uh, rather, try to use the wrist more actively instead of bring the arm back here, folding like this. Try to use the wrist more at the end. Give wrist action at the end. So both ways, intentionally try to use your wrist more. Yeah, wrist more. Swing. Swing. Now, again, so you use the kettlebell and the knob rope. Every time you adjust your movement, try to work with them. Now, it's uh, the club. Right. You need to feel the motion of the club and club head, mm -hmm. and you have to work with that apparatus. So as you swing back and forth, don't let it go. You have to keep it under control, mm -hmm. for that you really have to work with it. So feel the motion of the club. Instead of just to go up here and then let the club move like this, yeah. you have to control the club motion here, mm -hmm. and then reach this position using your arms and wrist, okay? But work with the club. Don't, do not use your body and then let the club move, you know, whatever. But uh, try, to, try to keep the club motion under control. That's better. That's better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Swing back and forward. Now, back swing is too flat, going backward too much. So generally, your swing plane is more going this way. So during the back swing, remember the kettlebell position. When you just let it swing, then kettlebell will be here. But the same thing. Using your arm, instead of just to turn and bring it back here, rather try to reach out here. Instead of fold and bring it back. Reach out more that way. So remember, establishing, establishing good swing plane here. And then keep a wrist motion. That's better. So if necessary, you can move your hands a bit higher. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. And the nice thing about moving your hands a bit higher is that then on the way down, instead of letting your hands go out, try to keep it a bit closer. You have big belly here, so it will limit this a little bit. But so let the hands go a bit higher up and come down this way instead of going out. So then, uh, you know, you will be able to keep the hands a bit closer to your body. Okay. Yeah, 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 like that. So come down. Yeah. So if you, you if your goal is on the way down, if you are going to bring your hands like this, then this doesn't work mm -hmm. because in this one, try to bring it back. You have to slide the pelvis a lot, right? So that's you know because you are going back too much here, then you have to go out. This makes the impact quite uh, inconsistent. So try to bring the hands a bit higher up and then come down more, keep it close to your body and then let it go. Then you'll be able to adjust the swing plane in the, uh, toward this direction. Yeah. And then there at the end, give a wrist motion. So control the club motion. Your goal is to control the club motion using the body, right? That's better. Swing back and forth. Now, here, again, we need to come up with a smooth motion, right? And have a bit more time up there. No need to come down right away. Remember, the when you worked with the rope, you had enough time here. The same thing with the club. So go up here, and then give enough time so that your body can shift this way, and then bring it down. So, to, uh, so you have to fight the urge to yeah. come down right, right away. So be here and almost back. Yes. Almost push. Yeah. So when I'm up, I'm pushing here, I'm not pushing down. Right, right. You cannot, push, you cannot push and move but your body down. The only way you can move your body down is a le less push, right? Because the gravity is pulling your body. Right. And then you cannot really bring your body down mm -hmm. intentionally. By pushing less, you will let the body drop right. because the gravity is pulling. Okay. So after the, the end of this push, and you will have shift end, you will have automatic drop. Mm -hmm. 
So again, feel the motion of the club. Your goal is to move the club along this path here and then to this position. Mm -hmm. So you have the image, your target position here. Mm -hmm. okay. Instead of just the, whatever your body wants to do and then try to bring the, this up. Rather, your goal is to bring the club up here by using the body mm -hmm. and the arms and the wrist. Mm -hmm. So image your target position here. So when, as you swing back and forth, go to this position, go to this position, go to this position, and they have enough time before you come down. So always the, the main thing is the club head motion, right? Image your target position and swing back and forth. Still, on the way down, the hands are uh, too far away. What happens is, um, when the hands are too far away, if you come down this way, if you have this feel, you can easily right you can you can easily right. change the face position, so the swing the impact becomes uh, inconsistent. Right. But if you keep the hands a bit closer to the body, so when you have a little bit of angle here, it's hard to do this in this position. Right. So the face angle is mainly determined by the swing motion instead of this motion here. So my arm, my arm is going out. When you, your arm goes like this, not only the swing motion changes the club face direction, or save this. Yeah, keep, keep the hands closer to your back. Mm -hmm. So easily go up here, mm -hmm. and then here's the target position, and then come down this way, and then swing through. Have a bit more time up there. Image, image the, uh, the, the target position of your club. Still you are flexing this too much, so let it move away from your body a little bit. Mm. There, there. So go up here, and then Im image that uh, you want to bring the club about here. About here, you tend to go this way because uh, your body is uh, turning flat here, and they try to bring this back like this. But rather, if your hands go out a bit more, mm -hmm. then you will be able to maintain this position here. And that's where I want to be right here. Yeah, and then relax a little bit. Your, your, your wrists are too tight right now. So intentionally try to use your wrist toward the end. Okay. Intentionally, wrist, uh, wrist action here, on the way down, intentionally. Add your wrist action. Mm -hmm. okay. So this time, it, uh, try to add more wrist motion. Okay. See how it goes. So the exaggerated wrist motion. Uh, that doesn't mean you just uh, let it go, but actively use your wrist okay. instead of just letting it go. Okay. Actively use the wrist. Swing, swing, swing. Swing, swing. Uh, the transition is too fast. We give it more time. So overall, you should make the motion smooth. Right. So if you go abruptly up, it's hard to wait here. Oop, oop, but mm, continuous motion. Fast enough, but continuous motion, and then with the intentional wrist motion at the end, let it go wrist motion and then let it go. But uh, on the way down, the wrist motion should be done later. So always, toward the end of the turn, you have wrist motion. Mm -hmm. On the way down, toward the impact, you have wrist motion. Mm -hmm. Instead of using wrist early, okay? So the wrist up here and then? Yeah, so go here, bring it up, and then wrist motion here. Okay. On the way down, wrist motion. So if you use the wrist, Actively, wrist motion alone will give you a lot of speed. Right. So, so it doesn't mean that you just relax and let it go, but rather actively just use the wrist. Mm -hmm. But still, image your target position. Right. Okay. When you say image by target position, you mean with the target position? Where the, where the club should end. Yeah. Oh, where yeah. it should end on the back swing. Yeah. 
see. Yeah, so you could be here or here, but uh, by imaging the end position of the club, if you tend to go too flat back here, then you can adjust it. Okay, I want to go this time about here. You'll be able to control that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't think about it, then what happens is you keep doing this. Mm -hmm. So you have a crossover position, and then you go flat. So image, and then you, you should be, in, uh, be able to intentionally uh, control the end position. But again, try to work with the club, try to work with the club. Mm -hmm. Smooth the club motion, keep the hands a bit closer to your body, on the way down, swing, yep. And the touch the tip of the T. So for that, you have to use your wrist. When you use your wrist, it's easier. When you try to throw everything out, then the hand tends to go out. But the, if you uh, add wrist motion later, then you don't have to do this. Right. Mm -hmm. Now even your, your swing uh, plane is going this way. This is good. This is good. So you are adjusting the swing plane. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, have more time up there. So feel the, feel the motion of the club and the club head. Feel the motion of the club and club head. Swing. Swing. This time, it, it doesn't have to be a rigorous swing. Mm -hmm. Just to try to feel the path of the, uh, the club head. Mm -hmm. So go up here, bring here, and then swing. Swing. But make it continuous. Swing. Swing, swing. And what the really important is that your arm should be reasonably stretched when you swing here. If you keep it here, then the impact is not consistent. That's why I have chicken arms at the end. Yeah, so let it go. Let the club go by using the wrist. And then let it go and then keep the arms fairly wow. well extended. Okay. So easy, easy, easy. Relax your arms. You are, uh, your arms are too tight. Relax, and you don't have to swing hard this time. Just try to feel the motion of the club head. And you, you have to use your body. Right now, wait, wait, wait. Right now what happens is uh, you try to, to go here and then try to swing like this. Remember, shift, put the weight on the left side by kicking the ground and then let it go. No need. Do this. So, not this one, but shift and then swing through. So you really have to put weight on your left side. Hmm. So that push, that push will give you a turn instead of bring it down and try to. Mm -hmm. This is called the early extension, but. Um, so I'm going up here, and then just the I'm shift, shift it this way, and then by pushing the ground, you are turning. Pushing the ground here, or here, here, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you push, no need to lift your body up. It's a upward motion coming from this natural extension of the knee. Mm -hmm. So swing instead of. Right. So really push the ground with your left leg. Hmm. Shift the first, shift the first, and then lower the body and by kicking the ground, the swing. So, so before, shift. When, you, when you shift, you will also have slight the downward motion. Right. Shift the end downward, mm -hmm. then you will be the push a lot better. No, okay. your lower body is not helping your upper body turn mm -hmm. because you're going like this. Right. Try to swing through. Yeah, that the uh, mm, 
you rope swing, when you do the rope swing, it's a lot better. But so when you swing, again, you have to feel that whether your body is working together to give good swing motion of the club. Right. Or whether they are working all uh, individually. Right. So if you do slow motion and coming up, mm. and then mm. I want to shift, mm. right? And the stand on the left side, that's all you need. Swing like this. So swing and stand on the right side. No, no, no. no. Try, try this push will give you natural upward motion here. Okay. Don't try to, don't try to intentionally try to stand just, up. Just push. Yeah. Okay. Just the swing. Okay. Let's do a uh, let's swing hard. See how it goes. So this time, this time, swing harder. Swing back and forth. Both both ways. Swing harder. Let me show you this. So you have the, the typical uh, early extension problem here. So instead of this motion here, yeah. and I'm doing what? what? What am I doing? So the the push is too early. The push is too early, and then the, this does not really help this turn. So to Try to have a good connection, good connection with the ground, and your lower body has to uh, really help this uh, turning motion. But uh, they are not working together. Swing through, swing through, let it go, let it go. So shift and then swing. Mm, again. Yeah, you're just using this. Right. You are not using it. So the the turn is not coming from you. Uh, the the swing is not coming from your arm. What you're doing is because you are using your arms early. Yeah. That's why you have this motion here. Wait until the shift is done. Use the chest, the shoulders, and then try to throw the arms. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Yeah. Fold your arms, keep the right, uh, left arm above. And then, so incline forward. And as you turn here, and then shift, right? Mm -hmm. And then try to throw the left, as you turn, throw the left arm. Here. Throw the left arm? Mm. Not this, just let it go. Relax and let it go. Again, no, do not stop here. Just let it go. So when that happens, that means that you are just mm -hmm. moving your arm. Throw the arm with your chest, the shoulder turn. Mm -hmm. With this, and then throw. Okay. One way down, your shoulder turn first, and then throw. Boom. Your arm is going here. Stop here. That means that you are just using your arm here. Now your shoulder. So swing, swing, and throw. And then use the, the keep the palm up. If throw. So swing back and forth several times. Swing back and forth several times. Using the shoulders, shoulder, and then throw. No, I can't get it. Again, down. When you turn this way, do not try to lift this high up. Okay? So just relax, relax. Okay. So turn, turn, swing, turn. By kicking the ground with the left leg, mm -hmm. you'll be able to turn the shoulders. Mm -hmm. okay? So again, turn, turn, and throw the arm. <laughs> not reaching out here. Right. So forget this. Swing. Swing and using your body, turn and then finally let the arm go. The arm action should be a bit later. Right. Okay. Do not start. Try to go this way. Relax your arm. Relax your arm. The turn is coming from your shoulder motion and then throw the left arm. Let the left arm go. So it's one and then. 
and then I'm turning. And you're just, uh, I'm just reaching going. out. Instead of uh, using the shoulder turn, you'll have to speed up the head and head motion. Then let it go like this instead of. So let the arm go using the shoulder turn. <laughs> You're not really letting it go. So here, mm -hmm. if I hold it here, what? try to pull this. So your shoulder will turn and pull, right? Mm -hmm. And then let the arm go. Okay. Again, so go this way and then pull and let it go. Right. Again. Yes, that's better. Yes. Now you don't have this action here. So start the downswing with the shoulder turn and then let it go. Again, using the club mm -hmm. on the way down. Try to initiate the downswing turn mm -hmm. using the shoulders. Okay. And then later let the arms go. Yes, now the, the posture is a lot better. So swing again. So here and then it's... Yes. Yeah. Right. So that way... No, you don't have this action. So when you start using the arm from the beginning, go here, lower body cannot really help the, the turn. Right. But if you start the turn with the lower body and then let the arm go all the way, then you don't have to really extend like this. Mm -hmm. Just uh, swing through and then stand on the left side again. Swing back and forth easily. Swing back and forward. Try to turn your shoulder first and then throw the arm in the club. So let's do this. On the way down, you will slow down the opening of the chest. Okay. So at the beginning of the downswing, you will keep your back toward the target. Mm -hmm. So as you come down here, your back is still toward the target with this and then turn instead of Gotcha. Turn your shoulder right away. So, uh, so up mm -hmm. and then back and then, and then turn. Yes. You just uh, practice this again. Mm -hmm. 